welcome to the 1878 FM podcast. We are recording this after a weekend where Everton haven't lost because they didn't play. And that is always good. That's about four weekends, I think, now that Everton mm. haven't lost for. So, I mean, we are definitely flying up that. T- well, we're not, but we you know we're not losing, and that is always <laughs> a good thing. Always a good thing. We are joined, as always, by Dave and Sam. But before we go to Dave and Sam, mm. you did have a bit of a soiree meeting mm. with a former member of this podcast who is sporting a rather unnerving moustache. I've like, got to say that you mm. you sent and not it's not Movember so we can't get yeah. away with it. It was like but it was like, what was it like so I met a, met Andy. It's like meeting Robbie Williams at Glastonbury just after he'd left to take that. Was it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Did he seem free? Did he seem kind of? Yeah, he was ready to let go. Ready to let just go. There, he was yeah. like, I've been <laughs> dragged down by these people for too long, mm. and now I can go out and make podcasts about uh, board games uh, yeah. and stuff like that. Which he likes, yeah. No, I mean it's odd, isn't it? I mean. Like was Black it, Jason Cundy with him? No, he no. wasn't. He okay. wasn't. It's it's weird this, isn't it? Because we what's weird about this is whilst we've been making this podcast, mm. we haven't ever been with Dave in person. No. While we've been no. making it. Well, while, he has been to Liverpool a no, couple of yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just swear you know, does. Just just no, want to bring been, that back I've up. Been there, I've been there <laughs> once. Oh, incidentally, by the way, just 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 while we're on the subject of, on. The, of of which I need to put in my travel plan because I've got another one of those coming oh, okay. up. Okay. Right? Oh right, okay. And, and obviously, you know, and, and Sam, this this I think predated you you being on the pod, but me being in Liverpool for a matter of hours and not informing the lads yeah. once I once I once I pass the rocket, right? I, I only live rocket, I don't live far from the rocket, so I could have been there with a flag of, as you come past of this went down to say it didn't go down well would be an understatement. Mm. So <laughs> suffice to say that on, on the next one, which is coming up, in fact it's early. It's like the twentieth of November I'm 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 in Liverpool for an okay. early Christmas. Day. They say pass my driving test there. Many moons well, ago. The 20th we'll carry of on. November. Yeah. The 20th of well, November. Well, I mean, well, maybe we could have an extra celebration for that. <laughs> I, I'll just drive with my car and beep you yeah. as you come through. But yeah. Anyway, sorry. What were we talking about before that? Yeah. So but, we've we've not met since while well, doing the podcast, but we've mm. met before. Mm. Sam has been in here, but we've not been face to face with him for the podcast. Mm. So it's a bit of a weird. I've never met Sam. Hence why met? when he, he said he was six foot four, I didn't believe yeah. him because in it? my eyes, Who? he's about five ten. Well, whatever he is, over six. But we ne- mm. but none of, but none of us. Well, mm. me and you and Sam have never met Andy. Nope. I'm sure Dave has mm. in some radio circles. Um, Bush, Andy Bush. Oh, I've seen. Do you know what? I've I've only actually seen <laughs> him. Dave one. forgot him already. <laughs> How quickly actually, we move on. I've, I've met him once in real life and then once through the glass of a radio studio. There you go. What a way to meet. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we I've never met him. So he was doing the sleep out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> He'd done his show at Radio City Tower. Or it's not Radio City. He did tell me that he was the last, last person in the building at the tower and was completely locked in. Doesn't surprise me. Wow. We've been there. Just about got himself out of there by going in the secret underground emergency exit into the car park. Mm-hmm. Which is car park. Yeah, which is good. We've been like, um, Yeah, so me missus was doing the sleep out. He mm-hmm. was doing the sleep out. So I said, I'll meet you there, basically. So mm-hmm. we met we met in the queue. I mean, he cut into the queue to, to come to us. So of obviously course. I was just basically mm-hmm. his way of cutting into of the course. queue, of course. Yeah, and we, we you know, spent 10, 15 minutes together and had a mm-hmm. good chat. He looked like a, a beatnik spiv. Yeah, you know, I, he, I, I thought that from the picture. <laughs> I so you know he was the, yeah. he was ready to rob your your, your bongo drums essentially yeah. uh, and then sell them back to you at a, at a much much more expensive uh, thing. Mm. But you know what, nice fella, obviously nice very fella. busy man. Mm. Wanted to come and pay homage to Goodison, mm. um, and you know uh, I believe once he got in, he was he was very good with his time for other people, and he also uh, blew up me missus's uh, blow up mattress, well, which was nice, the, which well, is I'm not a, not, not a euphemism. No, um, I've, got, yeah. I've got that sentence. No, although, the although in a way he did, he did yeah. sleep with your missus the other night, didn't he? Mm-hmm. And John Blaine, and John well. Blaine, and uh, <laughs> many other people, uh, which which for some of them would have been the best thing they've had for a while. But um, and Dave, no, course, I Dave mean, Blaine. so great, great course, and he he come up, and then I believe he. 
you know, they kicked him out about seven o'clock and he went straight back to Lime Street, jumped on the train and went home and spent the day with his kids. So fair play to him because mm. I couldn't have done that. Mm. Uh, no, why would you spend the day with spend, his kids? I couldn't have gone to Leon C with, Dave, uh, with, with Andy's kids. <laughs> they turn around and you've met Andy, but Ped does your favour yeah. tomorrow, go to <laughs> where I live kids. and play with the kids. I'm knackered. I had a fan that I'm knackered. Weird. I've mm. been up all night. Yeah. Um, no fair. Yeah, so obviously lovely fella. Mm. I mean, he's a lovely fella. Done you the know, shit on, uh, you've on done the sleep out. You've done the sleep house, haven't we you? We both have, yeah. Because yeah. I've yeah. never done the sleep out, but I did climb up Snowden overnight. A bit different. Bit year. Diff- it it bit feels different. different, Sam. That feels More a bit mountainous. Different. It's a, fi- yeah. it's, a, it's higher. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But what Don't I know, felt you're being was, top balcony. Have you jumped it, off the it, top it, balcony? It, hey, we've jumped off the top balcony. We've jumped off and sailed across the pitch. Yeah. I've felt like terrifying. Many a time. Oh Never actually followed through. Yeah. It's well, I mean, well. ironically, well. we did when we jumped off it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when we when we went up Snowden, there was like it must have been about sixty people in this hotel at the base of Snowden, and we'd all done the walk, and everyone was pleased with themselves. But then we had to mm. wait two hours for the for the coach to come and pick us up. Oh, and I God. just had this thought: if we could just have like, if everyone in this room now had one pint and someone put YMCA on, it would just go off because everyone <laughs> had that weird. Sleep deprivation. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was, yeah. It was like it was waiting to explode. It was exciting. Lack of oxygen, the top mm. of Snowden as well, mm. probably. Mm. You know, that just seems you dangerous climbing Snowden overnight, given like how many just quite a number of people die on it and fall off mm. it every year. Mm. It felt dangerous, to be honest. It feels it dangerous. It, it feels fun. dangerous. It I don't like the climbing the stairs because of the height, so I wouldn't be doing that, I'll be honest. <laughs> I, we jumped I off the mountain. Up. Yeah. I got scared up Snowden in the in the daylight, so I think yeah, in the no. dark I'd be terrified. That when we done the zip line, which was which was amazing. That that mm. was high. I was a bit. To I be was fair, though, at that top we because we just done the zip line in in Snowdonia. Mm. It didn't feel like it was anything. Oh, the one did over it? the quarry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did that oh, for yeah, everyone yeah. community so as well. You, speak for yourself. No, no, we did no. But so uh, I was sure, okay. Sure, it? people have heard this story before, but we did this the zip line in uh, snow in the quarry in Snowden and. You do a little one yeah. first, and it's Literally like it's that, yeah. sand, and then they take you to the top, mm. and literally strap you in, so you are do it like a Superman. Superman, yeah. So it's but it 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 they pull it on your back, so it's really obviously it's really constricting. But mm. just to be hanging there, and there's no word of a lie. When we were there, the phone went, and the guy who was who was doing doing it, strapping us all in, the fella said. Your missus has just gone into labour. <laughs> it genuinely yeah. happened. This and genuinely happened. So everything just, just went. Me. Everything just sort of stopped, and we were. It felt like we were just. We were just dangling, weren't we? Because yeah. they do. They just put you on the edge, and you're just hanging in this mm. Superman pose. Mm. But because mm. the phone call went, we mm. were just hanging, and it felt like forever just it hanging on the edge. Yeah, it was. Off, and they had to get someone else up, yeah. didn't he? But surely, in, in that moment in time, and there's not mm. many times when when you would take priority. But I, I'd have suggested. That if I was hanging there, that I'm more of a priority to him than mm. his pregnant wife and mm. newborn child. I think so because all he had to do was press they've the got, release button, and, and then he there. could have got well, off. Your 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 life is hanging in his mm. in his hands. It was, and it yeah, wasn't because he got off. the baby's born. Can you? No. Also, hang there. Also, no. if he'd let us go and got the thing back, that would have been the quickest way down for him. What he should have mm. done was swapped with someone, <laughs> got on, and then yeah. come down with us. That would have gone to the bottom. Can I, can I get a takey? Yeah, or just just grabbed <laughs> on the back. You're the biggest. He could have just held on to you. What but, a way uh, to commute. Yeah, oh, yeah. Down yeah. Zip wire, cause normally That's the future. It, it, if, if you actually need to get somewhere. In Japan, I reckon yeah, someone in Japan is doing that right now. <laughs> someone in tube. Japan is just doing it's that. It's commuting Snowden. That'd be a hell no, of a No, just commute. someone in the zip wire commuting in Japan. Have you seen that one? Oh, where is it? There was one that, you know, the Al Doom scrolling on Instagram. One come up last week. I, I can't remember where it is. Is it Australia? I can't remember where it is, but it's in a city, right? It's horrific. Off the top of a hotel. When mm. you get lower down, it's mm-hmm. all right, but well, it's probably actually it's probably somewhere like Dover or something, isn't it? It's mad, but it was ter- looking at it going, nah, I could This is a zip wire. A zip wire. Just, yeah. you, you come off the top of like... They wanted to do it in... Ridiculous He wanted to do it in Liverpool from the top of the... No, I know, yeah. From the top of the... Well, they did have it for a little bit, didn't he? No. They wanted no, to... They, do... <laughs> the... No, they did. They had one running in Liverpool for a bit. They did. Go and have a look. Might have been down like Chase or something. Right. I guarantee you it one was right. on it. But they wanted a big... like a He big... wanted one off the Radio City yeah, Tower to St. Yeah, George's never... all. Jesus. And uh, our no. former Mary I mean, would be... Terrifying. Well, our former Mary, you know, 
didn't mind ideas as long as mm. you so back not... you back them yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was this chippy? Was this chippy yeah, tits? Yeah, yeah. As long as you as long as you delivered on your promises, all right. Make you a promise. The family. Um, the family. The family. <laughs> then, then, hey. then, then he, <laughs> you'd go ahead with it, but soon as I think he was. Um, you know, moved otherwise, aside. Otherwise engaged, yeah, I'd like uh, to put people it. People just went, oh, you having a laugh, you... Yeah. And Martin jumping off there. But they're in, they're everywhere, but they are. That Fair was scary, play. but jumping off that there would have go. been a bit mad. The same as jumping off the top mm. balcony. So well done, Andy Bush, yeah. and everybody else who did the Goodison sleep out. Mm. We, we didn't sleep no, when we, we didn't did sleep it. Up. There was no way wink. I could even attempt to get to sleep when we were there. No. There was no way, so we just sat up talking all night and then mm. went home and grabbed a few hours. Absolutely. In the morning. Um, Absolutely. So, yeah, well done, everybody. The last ever Goodison sleep out, of course. That's mm. scary, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Uh, I mean, we got... Now Now that we're getting into that that part of the year where it's always the last this and the last yeah. time. Yeah. The last yeah. time this. The last time we played that team at Goodison. Mm. It's, you know, the last derby yeah. at Goodison, the last sleep out at Goodison. Mm. <laughs> well, I, when, I, when I left Goodison, I went straight to the new stadium just mm. to have a look. Um, a bit of time on my hands, you know. Exactly. She's sleeping in the stadium. I'm not. I'm, I'm at a loss, mm-hmm. and it just, uh, you know, you go down there, and it obviously it was dark, but there's some new lights, and now the gates, you can see right through the yeah, gates as well now, mm-hmm. and it, you just the enormity of it just suddenly hit me. Mm-hmm. How big it was, how you know, it's complete. It is done. It's finished. Mm-hmm. The stadium's finished. Mm-hmm. Only needs a few uh, odds and ends, quite literally, um, and it just, it just. Suddenly, just a mate just looked at me. Oh, just pitches were unbelievable. Just like huge, sense, yeah. just absolutely huge. It was dead. It was dead quiet down there. Uh, which it was funny though, because I pulled over outside and I'm sitting on my phone and I'm actually I was sending a text or a tweet or something, and there was a fella got out of his car in front with his missus, and um, he he knew me off Twitter and. Uh, he, he, he just saw me in the car, and I thought, I must look like an absolute massive bell end here. Like, like I stalk Everton Grounds or something. Like, you go and visit an, the new Everton Grounds, and you, there's me just sitting in my car wait, waiting, you know, to uh, say hello to you or something. But... You should put a high-vis jacket on. You look like a I know. Meet and greet with Pep. I just thought, like, you've come down to see this in the first place you see. Imagine if he'd just been to Goodison. I know. I'm sure you're there. And I'm I like, know. I was like, does he just <laughs> frequent just, the just, grounds yeah. at night? Like, Batman, <laughs> only you just doing it at Goodison and the, the new ground. You no, know, a superhero hero that only looks over football grounds. Yeah, yeah he really watches over yeah. football I grounds. Either. I've got a question, uh, like just while we're on Everton, because we, I, I don't know what your plans are, whether we're going to talk about Everton throughout this this pod, but obviously with no match on it, I, I mm. presume, because it's always fun when we talk about anything but, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I've got a question for you guys, which is like based off the the exciting moment of about to move into the new stadium. And I spend a lot of time kind of thinking about certain moments in Everton's history, which will almost those sliding door, doors moments. Mm. And Everton always, in my narrative that I tell myself, go the wrong way. So mm. you've got the European ban in 85. That sort mm. of was a bad thing for us. You've got, um, even going further back, you've got like both world wars breaking out yeah. and, and title winning teams getting broken up. Mm. So I kind of tell myself this like real, negative narrative about Everton all the time. Mm. And then I was thinking over the weekend, I was thinking how lucky we are or were that triple seven, the triple seven deal didn't go through. Mm-hmm. I know the freaking group still it's still not all completely finalized, but it looks like it's it's gonna happen. And then there's obviously Kevin Brock's back pass that everyone talks yeah. about, which changed the course of Howard Kendall's first reign. Mm. Are there any other moments in Everton's history where you feel like things have gone in our favor? Because I think we dwell so often on the things that didn't. Hannah quite... Sagers. Mm. That's a great one. <laughs> that's a great one. Mm. Wow. I mean, that's the, that's yeah. the first one that springs to mind with me. Mm. Mm. Where that's just mm. bounced past them, didn't they? Mm. Um, I mean, you know, you, you, when you look at it back, you could argue that the keeper maybe should have got that. <laughs> you, oh, you could make that argument. But you then you'd make an argument that when we stayed up against Coventry, had someone got into Thomas Myers, Ed, he is. Because mm. Dion Dublin heads one, that's the well, slowest. They must have got into his head, must have got into his head about six months earlier then. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It was a consistent performance from mm. Thomas. Um, where it's gone our way. Maybe it's just a human thing where we just we, we dwell mm. on the negatives too much, don't no, we? No, we've had, a, listen, we've had, we've had sliding doors moments, Sam. I mean, the NTL deal is one. 
which I don't don't know whether you remember that, but it was at a time in whether it was ninety nine or two thousand. But across those years, NTL were putting money into football clubs as part of mm. trying to get the television, more television rights sort mm. of thing. They paid Newcastle, they sponsored Newcastle, I think I'm right in saying, or they were, yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah they yeah, were sure. sponsors Newcastle, they put money into a lot of clubs and Everton were 20 minutes from signing a deal with them. So Everton had spent money based on the end, you know, based on getting this money. Mm. Um, so they, they basically spent it before they'd got it. Yeah, before they yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah. And then yeah. NTL basically crashed, you know, 20 minutes before Everton signed this deal, um, which meant Everton got no money from the deal and ended up having to backtrack. And it was what, you know, led to sales of players or or the club mm. being in a different... Well, in fact, it did lead to sales of players because it meant we had to get the, rid of Matarazzi and John Collins. But the only thing I'd say about that is, though, if we had signed the deal no, and it, it went, crashed... It, it went against then us. Then it probably would have would hurt us even but, more. Well, possibly, I'm just I, saying. I, I, just there's those moments, yeah. though, isn't there, where we've had, we've had that situation where mm. it could have gone... I think a big one for me mm. was um, Bristol City in 1995 mm. it was mm. the fourth round mm. of the FA Cup Matt Jackson Matt Jackson, Matt Jackson. Yeah. but they they um, they God, must have hit the woodwork about four or five times shots mm. cleared off the line we absolutely mm. got battered and Matt Jackson just smashed the pillar in with 12 yeah. minutes to go and I was I was there and I remember it was just absolute carnage 12 seconds to go the, uh, the, the 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 players were were chasing after us and all kinds. Uh, sorry, the players, their fans were mm. trying to come across and and um, get to us and all kinds. And that was like obviously that was the one where you went, God, we. That's when you actually used to believe your name was on the cup. Yeah. Not like yeah. it wasn't like preordained now where there's only four teams' names on the cup. Mm. That was genuine when you thought our mm. names on the cup. And it, but I think that was even though, even though of course we'd had obviously. Joe come in in November and stuff. That's when the belief was like, God, we we might actually win something here as well. Like mm. you, you know, when you believed in such things. Um, and just remember that was the game of that cup run, and because mm. I was there as well, and and it just always stuck with me that game because we got absolutely mm. leathered everywhere that by was them. Literally, what happened to our kids team yesterday? Only that kid. It team. always comes back to your kids. Yes, that kid team yesterday were Everton and we were mm. Bristol City. Well, another one like that is obviously last week I had we had Adrian Heathen. Um How was that, people. by the way? I saw that. Was that for oh, the, the other great. podcast? Yeah, yeah. But he's he's great. He's mm. my my boyhood idol. But that's that's that moment again, the Kevin Brock back pass. Mm. You know, mm. Oxford that year had already beaten Manchester United, that manor ground, little horrible ground on yeah. a, a hill basically slope on it Bobby McDonald was flying and all mm. of those kind of people and they were doing really well and they, we had, it was such a tough game for us mm. and we're 1-0 down with 8 minutes left and he knocks the ball back and then she gets in skips around the keeper levels it up and it, we end up getting to the, the it the does always point. come back to those games because and, and in the negative sense in 86 you know the old uh, Lineker forgetting his boots at Oxford. Yeah. You know the week that week before the last game of the season where we should have won that we should have won the double, and that game ends up being losing the double. And I remember my dad telling me one in the seventies, well the late seventies, we played someone who uh, Carl Isle played Carl Isle. Really? Twi- that was 70, we played him twice though, and he beat us twice. And we should have we should have won the league. Mm. And um, you, you know, know loads of, pe- them three loads of people. Loads of people think like look back to the seventies and think it is like a completely barren era. But Everton finished like fourth and fifth yeah, a few the times. Of the seventies being no, I know we won the league. I know, but people don't seventy three. People remember winning the league as like the sixties. No, no, but it was sixty nine seventy, wasn't it? Seventy three, seventy four, and I only know this because we've been told these mm. stories. I mean, Ronnie Goodless saying yeah. it. The Carlisle beat them all away and got relegated. They That's what I'm saying. And we were the one that, like, then, da- you know, people always say, or I don't know, my dad said mm-hmm. to me, like, Carl Isle didn't beat anyone, they beat us home and away, and mm-hmm. we would have won the league by that. And it is, it sometimes comes 77, they had three goals of Villa yeah. in the League Cup final. Sometimes it just comes down to those little moments mm-hmm. and um, where you look at it and go, and as I said, going back to 86, Lineker forgets his boots or whatever it was, and we get beat by Oxford, and, and suddenly Liverpool go, Oh, we've got a chance here to win the league, and they never looked back. And it was well, they won it that night. They won at Leicester two 0 yeah. and then we obviously had Southampton at home, and they had Chelsea away. They only mm-hmm. had to win, and they, they won. Dalgley scored. Mm-hmm. They won one. We beat Southampton six at home. Yes, yeah, I remember it. Yeah, and uh, that was the one where Lineker, we the, for some reason, I remember. I used to stand them days. I used to stand right at the very front of the street and right behind the goal, um, and for some reason, mm-hmm. they all. 
it's one nil to Chelsea mm. went up, even though it was. And then I remember playing still now, turning around them was like that one, and everyone's <laughs> going yeah. And Evan, it was it, there's all twenty minutes gone, of others, and it was nil nil. It was quite flat. Then all of a sudden the cheers go yeah, around yeah. the ground, and Everton just went bang bang and scored four goals in about fifteen minutes and went off four nil up at half time, and obviously came mm. out and knew Liverpool were winning, and it the second half was flat. But there's a few, there's loads of them moments, even but recent ones, Sam. I've just seen a picture on Twitter that uh, Mint had oh, put up. Yeah. Tremendous photo. Unbelievable picture of Goodison Road after the Bournemouth game. Yeah, yeah. And everyone is, like, glum walking out. <laughs> Everyone's heads yeah. like that. And it's like, I think the caption was something like, or, like, you know, no, or someone had put, there's no joy there. Yeah. Just, ev- just relief, like, people walking. Yeah. In that game, you know, when's the core ever smashing a volley in outside the box, by the way? But, Jordan Pickford in the ninety fourth minute. Don't they had a volley that was goal bound and he's he's pushed it away and that goes under him. A la Hans Seegers, mm. you know Everton are relegated. So yeah, there's, there's the odd moment where we can go. Well, that did go for us that day. Mm. You know, um, it's a Palace game. A Palace mm. game two 0 down. Yeah. You know yeah. how the freaking hell did that end up getting turned around that night? Forty five minutes. That's up there with the biggest ones, isn't it? The biggest nights, that one. Crazy. Man, it shouldn't be, but it is. It, it, mm. But that, you know, for what... When you, you just think back to sitting there at 2-0 down at half-time and we were like... We had Arsenal on the Sunday. Yeah. And I think the Le- Leeds had Brentford, didn't he? And I'm going, well, the hope is Brentford batter mm. Leeds. Cause isn't the used, irony that well, Leeds, Leeds were winning, weren't they? Leeds actually... Leeds were winning a Villa. But isn't the mm. irony of that was we were safe after Wofford. <laughs> The way you played the out. The way you played out, we were yeah, actually safe after the same When we got back, terrible, terrible we push. We were safe after we beat Burnley. Yeah, yeah. After last season, it's just, but it didn't I mean, it doesn't, like that, we, it doesn't always work out like that, because obviously teams might give it a little bit extra, because well, you, you, you think, but... They're, but they're, they're, then as Sam out. said, as Sam said, nobody, no, nobody can ever, 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 ever say they've got as bad luck as us. Two world wars. We were champions. Yeah. Two world wars. Mm. And, and weirdly, I'm... they're the ones that really get on my nerves, even though, oh, obviously... World wars? World yeah. wars just wars, annoy right. me. Wars just get annoy on me. Sam's just, nerves, yeah. Just, not all wars, just world mm. wars. World mm. wars really get... They really grind my gears. Mm. Um, See, they're not crazy. Because crazy-like. even going back, walking down um, the Bullens Road, and, and they've got all the firsts, you know, like and, and they've got the timeline of the club, and just when you get to the fir- the first and the second world war, and you just look at the team, and you're like, "We could have had another two or three leagues to our tally at this point." Because yeah. it was just comp- well, you know, really we should have been we really should've we should have given all six. Well, we should because we were champions. We should. We should. I'm funny enough. I was I was reading. I read the first part of the, of the book of the. I think it's called Broken Dreams. Um, it's just an Everton book. Just an Everton book. Oh, just, just about. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't be any more. No, but it's just about that season. Yeah. And the, the first part. DVD from last season. Yeah, <laughs> the first part of it is. The first part of it is all the build up to that season mm. of how. Um, is this the, World War One or two? Two. Of how, two. All, of all, how all the players ended up at Everton and mm. the plays we had and some of the, you know, and, and how, they, you know, how, they, how they won it. And then it, I've come to the bit where. The wars, you know, you know when you sometimes you read the book to a point and then you put it down mm. and you don't pick it back. I need to pick it back up again. But the way they built that team and even things like every every opportunity. This is funny because it's so relevant sort of thing to now. Every opportunity they had when there was a break, they took pl- the players to a spa in Leeds every single time for, re- fresh, for to reflect, uh, re- you know, uh, refresh them, them and all, and all that. Every single time when so, it was when war was on the horizon, would be like lads. This happened last time. It will never happen again. Last the last yeah. war, we were the mm. best team. We were gonna dominate. Can't happen it again. won't happen again. Just can't relax. happen again. So, so yeah. And and they were they were not only were the amazing table. team, but the club itself had, had all these clever ideas mm. about to get the best out of everybody. Mm. And they talked about like how they it was the, they just got the the club they just got the crest that we recognised. Now mm. the club was was on the verge ready to go. was ready to it, it it was so modern in its ideas. Now it's thinking. I know it's I'm mad, imagine. isn't it? Yeah, yeah you know, but the, that the, was that was Everton for a long time, wasn't it? Really? No, it Forward was, it was, and then aggressive club. Yeah, it was for a very long time. They've always they've always been the leaders, and then then obviously the, the then the Premier League came that they devised, and suddenly thought, nah, don't need to do anything here, lads, do we? I think they just thought it's that thing, you know, where you're like. We could do that, but I like this. Yeah, I like well, the way it. we that's are. It. We'll that's just it. stay the way we we'll are. We'll stay the way we are, and we'll get all the money, and uh, no one, no one will do anything. Mm. 
And everyone else was, yeah, and everyone was else doing things. Mm-hmm. But it's really, it's really, it's it's really Quite sad. Poignant, it's really one. sad though. Mm-hmm. It's really sad to read all these young players who are in their early twenties and had great careers ahead of them, and it was all taken away Definitely. from them. Because even well, players, because obviously you, you, loads of them went to the war, mm-hmm. or or and the, you, that team mm-hmm. never ever played together again. And, and it's just when you think about we've it, had like even that. we have had mad, madness, haven't we? Even even recent times, you know, we've we've got, we get. We want a billionaire. We get a one that's a bit mad, shall we say, or a bit erratic is probably mm, a better mm. word. And they're starting to try and plow money in. And then the next minute, you know, we they have change a, the a, rules. a global pandemic. Mm. Mm. Rule changes what? come in. War could have done, done without war in Ukraine war. as well, can we? Well, no, well, that's it. We'll yeah. put it this way. If, if there wouldn't have been a war in the Ukraine, Everton, I don't think, would have encountered any of the problems. No. Because it would have just, there was big, the, the the summer that the war sort of mm. did finally put a halt to it all was the summer that Osmanov was coming in and as a named. Mm. And listen, Who knows? that might have been might be the worst the thing ever. Might no, be, I think mm. it probably is overall. But I just mean the moments where where you go, look, that changed for us as well at that time. Yeah, yeah. Or that changed. That's just the way it is, isn't it? It's, Could you frame are... all this, though, like with that list of what you just said, Baz, which are all these terrible things we've had to deal with, but frame it in a way that despite this... Mm. list of horrible torturous once in a lifetime things mm. you still couldn't kill us we're still here we're still a, we've got a new oaks. stadium mm. we've got a new owner prospectively coming in mm. we might even have a new kit next season who Oof. knows it's a all new happening. kit a new kit Dave you heard it here first. Mars wow. bars in whatever no, I doubt it. it I doubt it they can't get that right. pies Cold drinks. Oh no, the hot pies are it's fine. You get one. Cold pies. It, it, no, no, drinks. the hot pies. You get a pie. If you're ever getting a pie at the match, get it and just put it. It's because the seal thermo nuclear just pies. Put it under your seat yeah, till yeah. half time. No, yeah. and the then game, at half time, it, it might, it might just I, be all right to try and eat without giving you 15 degrees. I heard burns. in the 80s, the Americans and the Russians actually had a stockpile of, of the pies. pies. Of just gas pies. Just to, just, and they were mm. like, you know, it was mutual mutual destruction, wasn't well, it? If they threw the pies at each other, that's what, how well, that was it, yeah. One of the things, one of the theories, of course, is Everton's under soil heating is just steak pies. It's not real. <laughs> mm. it, it, they just put it under the ground and it never... It'd be ever, cheaper, wouldn't it? Nothing's ever free. It'd be cheaper. Come on, need another hundred pies. <laughs> that Gladys T goal looks a bit rough today. Somebody just bounced them underneath, and, and you know Bobby uh, Lennon's there do you piecing know, the pies. That, that one of the great things, and I'm sure it's of all football stadiums, though, is the old women who used to work uh, oh, behind the said pie yeah. counters, yeah, yeah, and yeah. how long it was. There'd be two of them, and it'd be like it, it was like well, yeah, funny enough when was... they were when they're pouring Changs. And you, you would, you would. I mean, honestly, when you when you looked and you looked at other grounds, and they had these incredible machines where you could put on literally sixty pint glasses, yeah. and they would just go like that, right, like something out of the Jetsons, right. And so it, it, it's amazing. Jetson. And then so, and then what you'd have, what you'd have, like you know, underneath underneath Bullens Road at the back of the paddock, oh. and you'd have this queue of about twenty people, right. And there's two old dears literally stood there. Opening cans of Chang and pouring them badly, <laughs> right? And then it's all froth, and then yeah. you let it wait. settle. So each one of these transactions to oh. pour a can of Chang took about five or six minutes, mm. right? I mean, it Incredible. was. Just I was fun. watching. It was like watching an apprentice task, wasn't it? You know, you don't know what they're doing. <laughs> no, oh, man. Just I was watching them. And, and they... <laughs> I was watching Zootropolis over the weekend, and you no, know, the oh, sloth in it. Oh well, yeah, sl- yeah. That's what it reminded me. The sloth was like a yeah. uh, flash. <laughs> I was like, that's the people who work. At, used to work at Goodison to all the old women, but they were like that. I remember going to Strews with their in the FA Cup yeah. um, when they beat us, Nigel Jemson. God, um, and it, that was like you know Goodison. That made Goodison look yeah. like you know the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, yeah. gay yeah. gay meadow. But it was great because it was like one of those days out of like it's like mm. 2003, I think it was. Mm. But it's one of those days out that takes you back mm. to when you first started going the game. He went in, and he remember getting a pie and a bovril just simply because it was a January day. It was icy everywhere. It was freezing. But that was like two, the two old, they, they were lovely, like 80 odd, you know, and, and getting this. Did you ask them their age or are you just. They had a batch, but okay. I am 80 odd. You know, the um, scary thing is, though, Baz, they probably weren't. They were probably about 55. Yeah. Well, in Shrew, yeah. I mean, yeah. Shrewsbury's desert, it's, it's MILFs, 
in yoga pants or mm. it's the other ones who just missed the, that. You know, that there's that funny generation where mm. you'll see like a, a mid-50s yeah. person and they're on the other side of the generation. So yeah, they have yeah, like yeah. pipe and slippers and then you'll see the one who's hitting that but but it's with this generation, so what they're just ready. What, what they're you, in. You, mean? you, know, you mean the ones still, that, like, so boom. when they went for it, you see old pictures of when they went for a pint, and for some reason they were in, like, the men were in full suits mm. and big, big, big coats. Big coats. Like, mm. big, big, yeah. big yeah. coats. Outside for a pint. You, but know. The, you know, you must have seen that where people are. You look and go, you're, you're on the... They're really small. Why are you doing mm. that with There's, your there's like, a line, yeah. and there's, like, this side of the line. Like, yeah. if you're on the, the underneath side of the line... You're in a newer generation. Are you, yet, are you, you think we kind of like one side's Amanda Hold and the other side's Susan Boyle? That there you go. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. Dave, your words, but you know roughly what? The, once again, the same age. Probably. But you know what but I mean? Yeah, Similar age. Mm. And one, you go and yeah, I'll have a yeah, I'm I'm a mm. subscriber to that. And the other <laughs> side is oh, it looks like me auntie, but me auntie Beryl from like yeah. eight. Where have we just gone? We both got the same auntie, Sam. It's just better than me. Better, yeah, it's I think just better. Cousins, yeah. aren't we, you know, you get a blue rinse. So Amanda yeah, we don't Holton, have those people Amanda anymore, Holton's do we? Amanda getting waxed within an inch of herself. And... She's getting what? Sorry. Well, she, you know, she's, she's, she's getting she's waxed very by tired. the family. Not waxed. Well, oh, she right, might be getting sorry. waxed. Sorry. But you know what I mean? And yeah, Beryl. Cause... Beryl's got like 40 denier tights on. You know what I mean? Mm. So that was what it's like. It's like... Can we put that's Denny, a weird by the way, thing, on the discussion topics one of these weeks? I'm not fully... Is, is it to do with the thickness or the opacity? I think it... Op <laughs> it I think it might be thickness, but I it could be the opacity, Dave. Or I maybe a bit of both. Should we, can we stick tight Denny is down on the yeah. discussion? To, to the next yeah, week, yeah, tight yeah, Denny. We'll have a that. tight Denny update. No, because just, just while we're on this, this mm. does actually make me think, because we're all... We're all... Pets always wanted to know about no, Denny. No, 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 no. Are you talking about Tog in a minute? Just on old yeah, no, no, that's also no, no. on my list of things. Yeah, I don't know what a Tog togs, is either. Togs are amazing. 15. Just on old. On. No, no, because it's very interesting, no, isn't it? Because you can't know, like you just said there, mm. you see pictures of people who are old, mm. who look old, and yeah. you go, how old were they? And they go, well, they were only like 55 in mm. that picture. And you think, but yeah, like, they're nearly as old as Bass. And you go... <laughs> <laughs> and you you look at the no but now now you look at people who are in the sixties and you go well they look like they're people in their forties mm -hmm. and you just I, it, it you, you've got no as we're Dave's only older, forty isn't he we've Dave's got, forty yeah thirty nine isn't he Dave as we're getting older we've absolutely never got a gauge of what we're gonna look like like there's the old like what you're gonna look like in a time travel film isn't it you know Marty McFly when he's an old man it's just mm. but we've got no gauge of what we're gonna no. be like like is when we get to like there's an idea of like when we get to seventy or eighty that's it kaput mm. but like you see people now in the sixties and the very, very healthy, very, very sprightly, mm. and, and have mm. no problems at all. And you just think, what is it going to be when Why we is get... it sprightly? Why aren't they? I've it's no the same idea. thing when you get to Dr. a certain Pepper. age. When you mm. get to a certain Pepper. age, you have a fall, don't you? You don't fall Two, yes. over. No, that's you it. have a fall. You have yeah, a fall. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not like, oh, you oh, know what? Fall. Fellow, like, if you're under, like, 50, yeah. you fall, mm. or, or under 60 it is, isn't it, with the thing, isn't mm. it? Oh, you know no, what? You do... Jimmy fell over and broke his arm. It is interesting, though, isn't it? When he's 61. If Jimmy fall. falls over, Jimmy's had the fall. No, because I mm. like my dad's seventy two. Mm. He's 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 in work full time. Mm. He doesn't work on like B and Q. Mm. He works on a construction site. Mm. Like and there's no he'll it have like cruel, he will but, have yeah. to be dead to be taken off that job. He loves it. He would he would mm. wouldn't he wouldn't survive. Yeah, but not, that's probably keeping. No, him. I know, but that's well. what I'm saying. He wouldn't survive. So he's 72 and mm. he's still doing that and he loves it. And, you know, mm. we went to Arsenal at the, the, you know, at the end of the uh, end of last season and he, he drove me there and back. And I don't believe the speed limit wow. ever got under 80 miles an hour mm. the whole mm. time we were in that car. Yeah. Yeah. I was it just felt like that, didn't I it? I was gripping was no, no, the No, no, he genuinely was going there and back. I was, need, I not, yeah. The police need to Pe be People have a go quicker. at Rolling Stones, don't they, for not quitting? Yeah. They're, they're doing I thought you were going to say for speeding. No, no, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> but in that, I mean, in the amount of time the I've heard on. people have a, have a go, and Keith Richards is doing like 45 in a 30. In a, in a 30? Oh, What's going on? And he, no, he never goes to speed away. That's it. No, no, never. Just, just pays the fine. No, but it, that's, that's the most interesting like an thing to me. online pirate. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the most the, interesting thing to me as we all get older is there's literally no mark of what being old is now because we can't we you're always looking at the last generation no, no, and it's, it's weird, yeah, isn't your it? Perception, Everyone, your your yeah. perception changes so much as you get older. And yeah. I've, I've had conversations, genuine conversations with people who were like in the sixties and the, they've booked the first saga cruise and I mm. go, Saga and like clearly tear my nose up and they go, Oh no, saga's changed now. And it's like, No, it hasn't. You have, you're older <laughs> and you're <laughs> saga age. I don't, you know what's weird though? I always, I always thought as you get older, you'd feel different. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So no. I, I like used to think because I, I have like, I do have sort of like mm. that uh, mental state of like. No, everyone's got a scared, mental state, like being scared of like dying and stuff. Yeah. Know what I mean? Just every now and again, in the middle yeah. of the night, you wake and you're like, "Oh my god, <laughs> I'm, cold sweat. I'm not gonna be." Here do, did day. you really need to go to the toilet? Though is that why mm. you probably is that why that, you're scared? Yeah. But it's that thing of like, it's scared. Like in the in the, the darkness, you lay in there. Like when you concierge got... is off on holiday, <laughs> you know what I mean. When they're not there, can't look out and see Jeeves <laughs> waving. Um, I have a thought when Ned's talking. But yeah, there is that as well. <laughs> but you know what I mean? You think yeah. like, oh my God, I'm not going to be here. Like one day. And that like, you get that little bit of anxiety. And I always thought like older people just some t- somehow come to terms with it. You know, yeah, when you're older, yeah. you're just like, well, I'm, I'm a bit tired and I'm not asked of it. But as I'm getting older, nothing slow. I still think, yeah, I can run around on a footy pitch or I can do this. And, and maybe everyone is getting sort of younger because they're yeah, taking yeah. care of themselves. Yeah. You'll see people, but I see it now. I ran 10, ma- 10 miles last night. Are you into run? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. You've never, yeah. I, that's yeah. the one. Th- you know, we do this every week, and you've never no. mentioned it. It's my I, I like to keep it private. What's your, what's your PB when it comes to 10 miles, Ped? Hmm? I broke it last night. Did you, last, did you break it last I night? I broke it last night. You Shut up. No, yeah. did, why, did, hang like on. To... Why, haven't you, why haven't you posted about this no, on social media? No, I like media? to keep these things mm. quiet. Yeah, you mm. don't like to Well, actually, no. Me. Actually, an ex-Everton striker did message me this morning and said, I see you're back running. And I said, no, no, I've been, I haven't stopped running. Mm-hmm. He went, oh, uh, you know, you don't really post Stuart on, Barlow. on Insta that Stuart much Barlow, yeah. about running. So mm-hmm. I went, you need to get over on Strava, mate. Mm-hmm. I'm always mm-hmm. checking out Dave, with what canal Dave's been riding his bike on. Yeah. Yeah. That's not oh, even no. a euphemism. No, no, no. Can I oh, can good. I share a euphemism that I said the other day? Go I was on. telling my wife about bumping into someone, and I went, I was walking the wrong way down the meat aisle in Aldi, <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and I bumped into start. an old friend. <laughs> What a way to start! Go oh, on, go on, Sam. The wrong way I've, down I've, the meat I've, aisle. I've got one more as well. I, I heard over there the woman on a bus say to a friend, she, she was talking about something. She went, "Oh, she looks like she knows a way around Debenhams." <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you, I reckon you would get so much material, Sam, just sitting on a bus. Yeah. Because like, genuinely, when mm. any time I'm in public, I just love to re- listen, just listen to people and some yeah. of the stuff. And I mean, it's any just time no, I'm no, in. In public. That's it's, that, you know, if you didn't sit outside the football grounds in your car, you'd be in the public area more. I'm too busy running. Yeah. Um true. I didn't know. No, but you know, you go for a coffee or something, you just sit down and you just listen to other mm. people's conversations. Yeah. Obviously not on purpose, but some mm. of the things you hear mm. are amazing. Like literally like like things like Sam mm. just said, you just hear the maddest things and you just We've think We've got uh, we have this there's this sort of folklore story in our in our family. In our family. Uh, it was Is it like a big book. It's year, no, family it's, stories. It's years ago, right? Me, me, me auntie had um, had gone out for. I um, mean, they just happened to be in Walton Village wow. on a, a this Sunday, and he'd just gone for a drink in the afternoon, just like a called in somewhere and just having like one quick drink after they'd had some food. Oh no, sorry, I'm lying. This had happened in she was on the bus. Sorry, she was on the bus and this was the next day. And she was sat, two girls were sat behind her, and they were talking about being in the elephant in Wolf okay. on the Sunday. And uh she's like, Oh, what did you do? Yeah, yeah, we went out yesterday. She went blah de blah. Um this woman come in and she accused this other woman of, of sleeping with a fella and it all kicked off. There was punching, they were scrapping, pulling air all over the pub, and then she went, It was fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we have this thing now. If anyone's like telling you a story, like, is it fucking yeah. brilliant? brilliant? And it's just like we were laughing, going, she's gone out. She said something like it was the best Mother's yeah. Day ever. Oh, yeah. They oh, love so they've Mother's gone Day. out. They've witnessed two women pulling yeah. hair, rolling about. Oh, that Mother's made, Day. That meant it was fucking yeah. brilliant. Yeah. This is why we went to Cooper's when we were younger. 
<laughs> wasn't he? <laughs> to see you all Coopers that. was the place which, to be. Oh, which Coopers? The oh, one Coopers was the place to be when we were younger, wasn't it? Or, or which you one, know, because there's two, isn't it? No, the, the one, the one at the bottom of James Street. The one that's not there anymore. The one that's not there anymore. Anywhere on James Street, especially around Mother's Day, what a place to be. You would see some of the maddest sights. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you talk about generations. There was literally grandmother... Uh, her daughter and mm. her daughter would all be. Mm. I mean, obviously, a Liv- that's a Liverpool tradition, mm. uh, and they'd all. And, they, the they, and the uh, grandmother would be the one trying to cop off with you. That's the mm. worst thing about it. <laughs> like, um, hey, they've got to get the. But it's Mother's Day. Hey, hey, it's Mother's Day. You've got to. You've, you've got, got to. You've got to go down to Aldi and you've got to get down that meat aisle. The wrong way. They're all mothers, aren't they? You know. They so are. Exactly. They're mothers. Yeah, mm-hmm. they are. And nowadays, you wouldn't be asked. But just going back again, the year old women I'm, nowadays yeah, looks tremendous. Exactly. I'm just going to reverse. I'm going to reverse. I actually do want to go on a cruise, oh, by the way. I wondered. I actually do want to do a grandmother who's 60, by the way. go on a TV cruise? I, I do want to go good. on a cruise. This mm. is a thing I want to do, because now I think... And funny enough, I reckon the four of us should oh, do be, a little But we have to go a, in a full, like... cruise. We have to go cruise. like Alan Partridge, like with the with the full deck shoes and I'm the the four of us that would be good and just do a couple of pods. Well, Andy from... Bush went on the Disney one, didn't he? he with got... Jag, Jason yeah, Gundy. Because they give him it. No, Jag, no. It was Jag Cundy, got it. Jag no way Cundy. Bush did. No one's trusting Bush with that moustache. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. But Jag Cundy. But he's got plenty of striped jumpers, so he looks like he's in the, Possibly. you know, the French Navy. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, no, I'm, I'm, into, I'm actually want to do a cruise. Now. I want to do a river cruise. I've said this before. Mm. Don't get just me do out then. on the Al- open seas. I'd be, be like that. No, 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 no. But, my mum yeah. and dad are going on their Carib- I think they're going to Caribbean next week it's their 50th wed- wedding anniversary oh, tremendous. so they're going they're flying to Miami really? Miami my da- I can, my, my da- I can see my old fella my old fella will have the vest on and he will have the shirt on over it I, I, I imagine good. And, and, the and, hat, the and the hat and the hat he'd be like Alan Wicker on speed oh, going round honestly mm. that's all right, going round and then and yeah they're going for the 50th wedding oh, anniversary tremendous my sister told me that anyway I've I've never, don't know. I don't know when my mum and dad's wedding you anniversary. You don't care about I you don't, don't know anything. Wedding anniversaries to me are like, for my mum and dad, are like, well, what's that got no, to well, do with me? No, it's a personal thing, but big, but, yeah, but big numbers you should know. No, I, I get it. next week. Oh, why do you know? Because they're away on so holiday and I had to take the suitcase back. So have you made a note? <laughs> have you made a note? <laughs> <laughs> I have to, I know, because I know not to go there on a Wednesday, and lads, I'm sorry, but there'll be no Kit Kats for two weeks. Because she's still, no, genuinely right. She still gives me packets of biscuits to bring in here every time I go. Don't, she That's just. amazing, that. She, just, she knows you run. Mm. Yeah. But I don't eat them, though. I leave them for the lads. You know, I'm supportive in that way. You know, I let the lads eat the biscuits. The lads. And the Rockies. I haven't trust the Rockies. Well, fair play to you. I've had the odd Kit Kats. Kats though, they're modern biscuits. They're and they're 104 biscuits. calories. Yeah. And they're not too bad. Because my yeah, aunt used to give me, was it blue ribbons? But they yeah. Were oh, yeah. I, I them. never took to this continued funny, funny taste. version. Yeah, did, they, t- they tasted like 1974, didn't they? But it, just, it, was, it was just like I shit would, chocolate, wasn't it? I wouldn't it? know what 1974. Yeah. Yeah, it was crap chocolate. Uh, I've I, never got into mm, blue ribbons. No, ever. I used to have them because obviously everyone, and I imagine everyone here, you always had the biscuit tin that used to always come out mm. when, mm. when you know, uncles or aunties mm. or and cousins used to always come around the biscuit tin mm. and oh, you'd be yeah. praying that the little, they wouldn't want touch the one. So the, the blue ribbons, they, the blue ribbons would come to the top. Yeah. You'd, yeah. you'd, put make, them at you'd the get top. them to the yeah, top yeah, and make yeah, sure the yeah, ones yeah, you like. Like cannon fodder. Yeah, let them, you know, let them go. Wagon... The wagon wheels stay at the bottom. Keep that at the you bottom. You do not touch the wagon wheels, they are mine. And if you see all, anyone getting a little bit handsy, moving round. Yeah, but what could you do? There's not, you Nothing. Do, you would just you, have to grimace and go, yeah. that's what I wanted. Don't pull I the hit, wagon wheels. I hit some gold bars in the garage once when I was a kid. Remember them gold bars? There gold yeah, bars, yeah. My mum never bought them, so I hid them in my dad's toolbox, which, again, is not a <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of gold in me, that's real much. <laughs> yeah, oh, Something God. Is. Oh, God. Right. Are we actually going to need topics for this week? I've just got, we've, I've just got one topic. Well, I've, did you have topics? No. Well, shut up then. No. The topics were for freestyle. As in, as in, as in coconut chocolate bar. Mm. Coconut chocolate bar. I've not. Um, what, was, yeah. what was the topic? Was no, it, it was, oh, oh, no, it wasn't, tro- it was wasn't caramel, coconut. Wasn't it wasn't caramel <laughs> with nuts, a topic. Was it? Bouncy yeah. is the coconut one. Probably the ones yeah. they sung, uh, sold in Hong Kong. Probably different, Dave. Yeah, they no, were I probably think I'm just getting mixed up, Peter. I think. Oh, fair I think, play. Yeah, I just. But topic was topic for me was a bit like a League Two 
kind of chocolate. You know, when you think about popular mm, chocolate, yeah. I mean, it was it wasn't it wasn't in there with the big boys, was no, it? it wasn't no, wasn't up there, was it? You, know, you, you can't get it in the, the in the selection box. It'd be in there, but it it, it wouldn't be like seeded. Oh, it's a the shop no. and kind of goes, I want a topping. No, you know, no, I, I don't believe so. I could murder a topping. Is it the coffee flavored chocolate of the? Selection box, you know, the coffee flavored chocolate. Oh, that everyone leaves. Everyone leaves. Do you know know the one, though, that I'd actually always overlooked and probably put it in the same category until I tried one and then I thought, actually, I I think it's much underrated? Is that I was in Halfords a couple of years ago and they had a. They they, had topics. You don't don't think about Halfords as selling chocolate, but for whatever reason, they had this this box of maybe there was some deal with Cadbury's and Halfords, I don't know, Mm. but there was a box of boosts on the on the till where the where the where the you know, where you pay. Mm. And so I got one, and I went outside, and I, and I had it in the car, and I thought it's a taste sensation. It was yeah. like boost, and boost, and and nice. And chocolate. It was good, really and it good. does give you the boost. But that's why they have the chocolate yeah. by the till, Dave. Yeah, for, you know they caught you. You needed a boost. They had a boost, and they got yeah. it. We got. They I'm like, really should have put like wear? wheels next to the till or something. Right. Mm. Okay. Go on. Let's go on. Have, I've got to go because I, I, I had written a few things go down, but let's let's just go with this one. Right. Don't think about these two. Two. You know in depth but with the return of big brother mm. this week i just I, again just just popped up on my screen when we finished watching something and um, if you could create your own reality show what would the concept be what the hell it's a bit what about that one it's not it's really heavy. not really doesn't need loads of thought if you think of like if you think of obviously there's loads of reality tv isn't there obviously mm. big brother stuff like mm. that the apprentice that kind of thing there's Singing ones, if you want them, the Great I've British Bake Off, so oh, and be so. I've go on, one, Sam. Sam. So it's like The Apprentice, yeah. But instead of uh, you know, setting up a uh, I, I don't know what these they've got, they've got to make their own soap or something instead of yeah. doing something legal, mm. yeah. You've, you've got to enter the world of dark illegal activity, so you've Thompson. got to set up like illegal operations because that's a skill in itself, I'm sure. Yeah. So mm-hmm. You've got all these contestants and they've got to go out and they've got to form a street gang and then they've got to kind of choose who's going to be the big the big mr big or whatever they call them mr and big and get like, shipping sort of routes between columbia and, and yeah aberdeen set up mm, columbia and people. aberdeen yeah wow. columbia and aberdeen. Yeah. Yeah, Bogota <laughs> to aberdeen yeah I mean, it feels a bit it's, tricky it's, Depends it's not which a, way the product's a, going. a well-known route, but yeah. No, <laughs> but that might be why, Dave, why it could win. worry worrying that Dave knows the route. Yeah, Dave's yeah. all on it, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe I wouldn't be the right person to be exec producer, but I could just be like the ideas man. Yeah, the ideas, I, you know, hey. He could, could bring in a lot of money on the black market. Mm. Who knows? Dave, have you got anything to add to Sam's... Um, the Dark Side of the, the Apprentice? The Dark Apprentice. I'd call Something it. like that, the yeah. Dark Apprentice is good. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. No, uh, not not on not on his one. I mean, you, you did say not to think about it too much. So yeah, I no, it can be um, anyone. So, so <laughs> I would I I was originally weirdly thinking about shipping as well, and it wasn't okay. just because of of Sam's Bogota to Aberdeen illegal um, goods trafficking. No, of course. So I was thinking maybe something like you know they'd all be on a cargo ship. You know, yeah. all these D list celebrities. Yeah, and then but perhaps you can Andy Bush and in... people like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that. Um, you just did. Well, it's because um, of the moustache. Oh, okay, fine. And um, and then maybe it could be a bit like that. Do you remember that weird diving one called Splash that they yeah. had? Yeah. Right? So maybe we could incorporate Splash, but actually into the sea off a moving mm. cargo ship. <laughs> and could you, you know, have like tasks? Like one of the tasks would be like Somali, Somalian pirates or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, just yeah, to, yeah, you yeah. gotta fend you them might, off. You gotta fend them off. Yeah, you might imagine like sticking Jedward out the front. You know, as, yeah. as like a sort of high-speed Somalian pirate rib approaching. You know, all these I'd things. Watch are... that, Dave. I would. I yeah. would Sky mm. Plus the hell out of that. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. feels like a Channel sense. Five one. It does feel like a very much yeah. like a Channel Five. My mm. one is um, mine's going to be called the Tiger Who Comes to Tea. Very much off the uh, the back of the children's book. Yeah, I'm and sure. it would be the premise would be. Uh, six to twelve individuals mm. get invited round to a tea party or or just a lunch, mm. and uh, but someone brings a tiger, and basically it's how long you can last with a wild not, tiger in the that, room. Just feels tiger, too dark. Like, not like Tamil tigers, like like actual tiger. No, like an actual one, actual right. tiger. But can't yeah. it, it can't kill you because we're not going to get 
that, that's not going to get. Well, listen, this is the TV of the future. You know, we've no. we're, we're, we're gone past. Ted, we've got... is, is there a problem of that only lasting about eight minutes though, rather than mm. twelve seasons that we need? Yeah. To well, to be fair, though, that's on the contestants, isn't it? If they all work <laughs> together. <laughs> You know they got knives and and forks and 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 forks. and plates. Forks. Yeah. You know what I mean? And get a th- spork in there as well. Exactly. Yeah. If there's twelve of them versus one tiger, then work together. Some of target. you might lose an arm. Mm. Some of you might lose a leg. Whatever it is. But if you work together, you can bring the tiger down, and it's on you. Or you know, you are you going to all shit the bed, all run out the room, and leave Timmy Mallet just standing there wondering oh, why why telly. his agent? Yeah. He's got yeah. a hammer though. Have he's Absolutely. got a mallet with him? I, I think that's sure. a tremendous idea as we go forward. And see, in I many thought, ways, it's sort of a metaphor for life as well, Ped. I yeah. think. Yeah, you know, and also, of, you know, see, I thought it's true. You can put the fella in the <laughs> gold compare fella. That can be his punishment. Yes, yeah, get him in there. Get him in there. Once, well, once I wonder if he'd be handsy with there. the tiger. Let's see. Mm. Um, I had two. So one is one is just a riskier version of one that's already on. So we could have one where a load it, you know, dancing on spice. Nice. And essentially, <laughs> yeah. essentially, you give people yeah. some some yeah. stuff, and you see whether they can actually perform any sort mm. of. But I mean, it did look. I've, I watched Dancing mm. on Ice. I've seen. You can just uh, imagine that outside the front, David and Kirby, can't you? Dancing. Oh God, just just practicing. Yeah. Um, but me other want to be like us four. Yeah. On a cruise. Okay. But stopping at each place, and we've got to undertake a task. We've got to be right. undertakers. Not undertakers. That's a mm. bit grim. I tell you what, though, that's an, that, that that could be a theme that oh, hasn't that been done yet for a reality <laughs> yeah. show. Celebrity undertakers. Oh, imagine yeah. a blundertaker. <laughs> a blundertaker, yeah. Oh, they've got no. to successfully run the undertakers for a month. Yeah, oh, you've got to get the cadaver God. and you've got to make it look, you know. Mm. The beautician bit of it, yeah. yeah but you, get, like, you have to swap the roles each week. You can be the driver. You can be the, the mortician. The, the mortician oh, no. you, you know. Yeah. That just sounds scary. <laughs> All right, let's move that on then. That sounds that sounds terrifying. Um, what's the way, just on the back of Ned, mm. who is uh, obviously, and we've got two of our, our team who won't be here in a few weeks. Not, not that anything's happening. To yeah, it's nothing to do with it. the Undertaker link, No, the, the Undertaker mean, show yeah. isn't a thing. They're going on celebrity yeah. Somali pilots. What's the mm. worst thing that could happen in a job interview? The worst thing? Yeah, what do you think's the worst? If you were going for a job interview, what do you think is the worst thing? That could happen, in it. Uh, for some think... jobs, it's get get the job. <laughs> get the job is some of them. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, I, I can I tell you that. I, Go on, I, Sam. I suppose it was a job interview. I I went yeah. for um, I went for a. I, I, I'm not an actor, as you know. I'm barely a comedian, but well, I went for a job as a, a. It was like a. It was a play that was on, and mm. Les Dennis was. In the play, Amanda Holden, full and shake, but carry on. Yeah. So, mm. Mm. Let me I've never acted before, but I thought, well, <laughs> they, they didn't want actors; they wanted people who could just like actors themselves. I thought, well, I can do that. I do that mm. most days, really. I do it in like sleep. Me. <laughs> so, so anyway, I turned up and I've met Les a couple of times, and he's a dead nice fella. And I shook mm. his hand, and he shook my hand, and then he put his hand on my shoulder. And I thought he was going in for the hug, so I went to hug him, and he went, "This isn't a hug." And I just sort of hugged him. I just sort of hung off him for a bit. Uh-huh. That, was, that, was, that was before I'd read out the scene that I was supposed to like do with the audition, and I just thought, "This is this is I've shut the, the bed big time here." So that was pretty bad. Hugging the hugging the interviewee or interview yeah. without you know against their will. <laughs> yeah, pretty dodgy, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I don't. I, I walk in and there's three people behind the desk, and you walk around the other side of the desk and give them a hug. Probably isn't because some isn't. people aren't huggy, are they? Some no. people aren't mm. tactile, and it's the nope. thing is that awkwardly Smiley you only discover him. that when it's too late. Mm. <laughs> you know, when, no, but you, but you, 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 we've all met those people where you go in for some kind of hug, right? And then you realize as your mid hug that they are not a hugger, they're not comfortable, they're just kind of there, like, like, mm. like yeah. yeah, you can feel every Awkward. fiber of their being just like, like melting, mm. yeah, just yeah. Not, not into it at all, hugging, mm. yeah, maybe hugging the interviewer wouldn't be a good start. Dave, have you got anything? What you think is, um, is a... I'm just, I'm thinking don't... if I was to go for a job interview at some kind of zoological establishment, mm. um, being, being 
charged at and killed by a bull elephant <laughs> would be maybe the worst thing that could happen. That's probably not great, to be fair. That'd yeah. be really good, though, if you were going for an interview at, the, uh, like at a zoo or something. And Show your skills off. The, the, the three people who were behind were actually just three animals. And it was like, can you, again, going back to the tiger the or the elephant, can can mm. can you box these off right now? Can you, you calm them with a matador cape? That could be. Well, you could the c- chimps are all, just three chimps yeah. and they're going off their tits. Yeah. Well, you could combine yeah. that show, couldn't spice. you? That could be the reality. On spice. <laughs> on spice. Come and for, come and go for a, a job interview yeah. in a zoo. So, you know, zoo uncovered or something. And you have mm. to go in and, you're, mm. and they just go, listen, how do you deal with this? And you, zoo, you just you got put in the room. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. Zoo, you think you are. You might love it. You know, if you didn't get the job and you asked for some feedback and they go, well, Dave, we love the way you dealt with those giraffes who, who mm. kept them in. But ultimately, <laughs> the, uh, the some of the chimps escaped and, and attacked at yeah. school. So, or the, uh, or the can't, feedback can't is just, just, job. just chimps throwing mm. shite at you. Mm. Mm. The <laughs> feedback is just like, feedback. you're not getting the job, yeah, mate. Yeah. Well, here's some feedback. Well, a lion broke out and mauled a small child. But apart from that, mm. thought you did really well. You're maybe not the best fit for us, but I hear the safari park is hiring. And you, you know what I mean? All the circus. But you were, yeah, the good mm. bitch, but you turned up on time. Yeah, so you, that's, you know, there's a tip you. look smart you. when you, you arrived. Smart, anyway. yeah. You looked like a right mess when you left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you could swap lives with a fictional character, who would it be and why? Anyone want to take the, uh, the lead? Dennis the Menace, because he never ages, does he? He's been the same age since 1955. Like okay. Highlander. But it is a bit Highlander, though. That's quite... I was finding that film really sad. True. Highlander, with obviously the Queen back who wants to live forever oh, yeah. behind it. Because that mm. concept, that's only you that doesn't, but everyone Nah, but yeah. this is a clear instance where you didn't watch the sequel and no. you found out there was Fair quite a few the of them. I, no, I know. What? Hang on. You've just been saying it was dead, dead sad. No, and it had sad. a great soundtrack. And now you're like, oh, shite. Yeah, because I don't like The second songs. one was you find out actually was an alien. And no. there's loads of them. But people well, you knew there was loads of them in the first yeah, one. Yeah, no, but... you knew in the first one there was more than that. Mm. But in the second, but, you found bro, I'm just, aliens. I mean, just in response to Sam's Dennis yeah. the Menace. Donald Tony Blair there, haven't I, on the thing? Um, mm. Mm. So, Sam Dennis the Menace, okay. Okay. Dave? James Bond, I think. Bond. What was the question? Because she was Bond. Was, 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 it, was it swap lives with somebody for a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I'd probably, probably go James Bond just because um, he... he he always gets to drive cool cars and mm. like he always gets to hang out with sexy people. Mm. And then, and also he never dies with the exception of the last one. I saw his spoiler alert. If you haven't seen oh, it, but, anyway. but, but yeah, but you know, other than that one, he normally never dies, which is mm. also a good one. Mm, so I, good, yeah. I'd say him, I think that'd be quite a glamorous place to be. Yeah. I think you'd, you'd be all right. With that. I mean, the, the, both of you have missed the point of not, you haven't missed the point at all, but if you could swap lives. So I quite, I'm quite interested in, Dennis the Menace Being living Sam, Sam Avery's yeah. life. Yeah. You know, then yeah. just going right doing gigs. How is he around the house? Mm. Mm. Does he wear Adidas tracky tops mm. with white, you know? Mm. Does he let 97-year-old Joe put his bins out? Who knows? Mm. That'd be interesting. interesting. And therefore, Dave would have James Bond that'd have to go and do stuff, you know, go to all of these go to Aldi and EFL stuff. grants mm. and, you know, produce podcasts and fueling about and all the other great stuff they mm. produces. Could Bond do it on a wet mm. day? Could he mind four horses? Three. Who knows? It three. It was only three. three. Well, I'm going one up because he's James Bond. Mm. Yeah. Although it did actually look like there was only two in the picture because one of them was sort of obscured by the other one, which actually sounds a little bit like that mascarpone joke, doesn't it? You know, in terms of like, you know, <laughs> the mascarpone, yeah. the, 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 the horse had asked not to be in the picture. Yeah. The horse, yeah. I haven't given you permission. My consent. Yeah, his parents mm. hadn't signed the form. The permission no, form, so yeah. no. Yeah, yeah. Friends of mine actually who saw the picture on Facebook thought that actually maybe I'd lost my mind and actually had overcounted the horses and had to zoom in because it clearly looked like there was two horses until when they came in they could mm. actually see there was there was like a little head. Well, not Did like you a put a three horse like race? Horse-sized mm. head poking up like mm. like that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> with the side. <laughs> Pen mm. time to be alive. Um, I'll go Captain America. Captain America? Yeah, because... Okay. Ah, oh, there's nails. Silly helmet. It's got, can run round in a box, like, run round in basically fancy dress all the time. Mm. Uh, punching Nazis. Mm. Being around for over 100 years. And, and he's sound as well, so when he swaps, he'd be just like... He'd be all right. He'd be all so right. he'd be in here being all right. 
be sad. Would he? Be, yeah, I think he'd be Would he bring in Kit Kats from his mum? Though? Yeah. Well, would not his mum, she's dead. Mm. But, uh, well, therefore, there's a problem. But I think he'd bring Kit Kats it'd be in. Twinkie bars, wouldn't it? Or whatever they have in Yeah, America. it'd be American confectionery. <sighs> no, no American confectionery. It'd be slightly down because a lot of people he knows are dead, but... You know, well that's no good. As if he's True. coming in here bringing the mood down. No, I don't think he bring the mood down. I don't think he's a, he's a you know. Imagine a lot of when his he mates... saw when when Thanos snapped his finger and after the world got wiped out, mm. he's still quite chipper. Was he? Yeah. You know. So oh, Illuminati. Oh, spoiler alert. Illuminati getting, mm. <laughs> <Illuminati laughs> <Illuminati laughs> getting injured at the weekend yeah. wouldn't bring him down. No. <laughs> <laughs> what I'd love to see is every episode we'd be like, who's going to be playing Dave slash James Bond this week on the mm. pod? Yeah. What actors mm. being cast? Yeah. Oh, are they yeah. going to go progressive? Are they going to oh, be female? Okay. Or is it yeah. just going to be... An interesting be question, isn't it? Yeah. That is an interesting question. Mm. One for another day. Sure. Full on, yeah. I mean, normally, Dave, you've got the look of a, P- of a young Pierce Brosnan, but... I wonder mm. what you're going to say there. I did. I'll be honest. I did, Dave, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, the look I of did. a P- P- What? Yeah. P- what? Yeah. Pierce Brosnan in the meat aisle at Aldi. Okay. Oh, incidentally, by the way, I'm I've seen that. him in real life. He was one of my favourite ever guess who's, Pierce Brosnan. I saw him walking out of a pub in London once. And then, do you remember okay, in the days wow. when we used to have to do when we used to have to do guess who's? Yeah. And, and anyway, it got round to: is it a man? Yes. Is it whatever? You know, <laughs> is he British? Yes. Is he English? Oh, he couldn't be more English, right? He's the ultimate Englishman. It turns out he's actually Irish. He's Irish. He's Irish. Irish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was, he literally played part. He met, played a member of the IRA in, in the Long Go Friday. Yeah, I know. Well, I'd forgotten that bit. Well, but, you yeah. should never forget stuff like that, Dave. <laughs> you can't forget. That that's, should be the staple of an, any education. Who played the gunman at the end of the Long Go Friday? Who held the gun I on... I know. That on, was a giveaway, uh, wasn't Bob it? Hoskins. I think he's in other, you know, obviously singing in Mamma Mia. I remember him for more than the Long Go mm. Friday. But that's... And, of course, he was in Mrs. Doubtfire. He, he was in Mrs. Doubtfire. There you go. You yeah. should never forget that you either. You can't forget it. Why Stupid. would you forget it? Ned just literally Ned said just his name just as well. Ned. Like, Ned doesn't know anything but knew his name was Stu. <laughs> <laughs> See, Ned's never forgot it. No. And that's no, it. No, no. It's because of, it's, it's it's of the little girl. The little girl scared the life out of Ned. Mm, and he's, it's just burnt. It's burnt and Very stuff. much like those two girls in The Shining have terrified me mm. ever. Little girl singing. Okay. Ah, la, la, la. Mm. No. <laughs> we, had a, we saw someone in London, didn't we, in a pub? Greg, thing. Greg thing stood on my foot. Greg did. Greg, Greg Wallace. Yes. Little Greg, yeah. yeah Greg a Wallace. Pub standing next we to just us. done something Facebook Awards or something. Yeah. I was, I was either going to the... say him or Rosetsky. Wasn't Greg Rosetsky. No. I, I didn't, I'd have seen him coming. Greg Wallace mm, was actually, Greg Wallace, yeah. you know, my sort of size. So it was, yeah, we just he, he stood on my foot. Yeah. He, looks, he looks taller than that. You know, in the same way mm. that obviously none of us can still get our head around the fact that Sam is six foot two. No. We still, still I, I find difficult to, to fathom. I but in the same way that you see Greg Wallace to me looks like quite a tall bloke, but I've never no. seen him in, in real life. And, and yeah, for him to be shorter would be off-putting. Well, yeah, he is. He, it's Greg Wallace is basically what we thought Sam was. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's may, it. May, That's yeah, just the way it is. Ways. And yeah, yeah Sam's ways, just am. Sam's just gone. I'm a big fella, so get over it. I've met Sam. Mm. I've never had these problems that well, you two okay. seem to have. No. That's fine. And people normally have problems after the. Many, I think it's the way. <laughs> I think it's the way Ned <laughs> frames Not them. Yeah, you got a problem. It's just in a you know mental. Well, again, mental way. fitting back into the mm. tracky. Yeah. Mm. I I met a very diminutive chap. If we're talking about height, remember Finley. Finley Quay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He had yeah, a couple yeah, of Finley belt songs in the, in the yeah. 90s. Mm-hmm. And I was yeah. in a bar in Camden about 10 years ago. I was chatting to this fella for ages, and my mates were going, that's Finley Quay. I was like, no, it's not. And after about 10 minutes of chatting to him, I said, are you Finley Quay? And he went, yeah. And I was like, oh, my my God, and we were chatting. And then we were, like, getting on really well, and then I totally ruined it by saying, so what are you doing now? And he went, oh, no, I'm still singing and that. I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> the sort of the chemistry fizzled apart. It went yeah, quickly. Yeah. 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 You should have followed it up with your shorts than I thought you'd be. Mm. And that would have that killed it all. That would have killed it. You'd yeah. think, oh, he'd have been straight back on it. Mm. He'd have been straight back on it. <laughs> Wasn't right. his song always used on Trigger Happy TV? Or am I getting that confused with somebody else? Mm, no, that was um, Trigger Happy TV was Elastica, wasn't it? No, I mean, they used multiple songs, Dave. Don't, don't pigeonhole the show. Come on. But the title was Elastica. Not wasn't just the title, yeah, but he had many uh, songs during uh, the show. Remember when someone would well, do something? Therefore, it could have been any, of course. He could have had a song on there. Okay. okay. You, you threw it out, and Dave mm-hmm. quite impressively gave you exactly oh. who it was within a second. I think that's quite impressive. He hit a back cross the net, but it went. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, <laughs> let's leave it there. I think so. Brilliant.
excellent without Evan. It is. What a show without Evan. <laughs> I'd Lads, love to see if oh, more people watch this, bit, watch this episode than when Everton have played. Enjoyed it more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Far more upbeat anyway. Yeah. Right, lads. <laughs> Tremendous. Mm. We will speak to you next week. Have a fantastic week. Live from the meat aisle. Why not? Why wouldn't we? (laughs) Why wouldn't we? Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that. We'll see you later. Bye, 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 bye.